All right, last flight of the day here at Blowing Dust Area. I'm going to put an Alpha 3 up on a D24W motor. It's going high, and one of the reasons I'm doing this is to experiment with this pure color cornstarch pink powder. Keith, Model Rockets 321, has been using it and showing it on his videos. We used it with our So Long Rockets a few weeks ago, which worked. We saw the ejection we just never saw the rockets after the ejection so i'm going to put this up it's got the nose is loaded with this stuff i should see a nice pink burst at the top of the uh, flight at apogee and then uh, have a good chance of recovering the rocket afterwards so let's do it all right alpha three on the pad with a d24w with the pink powder in the nose not work <laughs> all right well let's see if we got a fire that was crazy sauce on a stick right there I think that was a motor issue not anything else I think just never had a chance Well, the pink powder's all over the floor here, or ground, and all over everything else. That's crazy. All right, well, I'm going to have to try that again. I have one more. Second attempt for the Alpha 3 and the D20. Pink powder going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, those motors are not good. Interesting. Well, the combination of too much motor and the crap motor, because all that chuffing I think it was both, but it blew out the side here. All of the, the wadding came out the side. Pink powder's still in there, so I still don't have a good read on this. There's pink all over the ground here, so it would have gone in the air. But I'm um, gonna need a new body tube for the Alpha 3.
not work. both of these kato chuff 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 definitely not the rocket they came out of the same pack of two so interesting i've never had that happen before a photo of the rocket after it recovered from the second flight and this is really just a disclaimer uh, i fly following all of nars safety rules i fly and set up a safe launch field uh, fire extinguisher at hand, I prep all the motors correctly, prep the rockets correctly, build them correctly. This, in my opinion, was a pure function of the motor not working correctly. You can see in the video that the rocket started to go upwards like it should have. I flew this thing on a C-65 earlier in the day and it flew perfectly. It uh, recovered perfectly, all the parts were in shape. This thing was ready to fly. So the motors were the culprit here uh, with all their chuffing and air starting in the, in the sky and sending the rocket off on a crazy trajectory. Never would have anticipated that two motors out of the same pack would cause this issue. So I just wanted to put that out there in case there was any concern that I was flying unsafe flying a rocket that was not safe, flying in an environment that was not safe. I always do that uh, because I'm an advocate for this hobby and want to continue to be able to do so.